follow the Sports Coma on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. the sports coma with Big Q and the guy and the guy DC Triple. Oh, come on, y'all know Big Q the most is up picking mine. But anyway, we're going to talk boxing this segment, man, the final segment of the show. We're going to talk two boxing topics that DC and I know is some of your favorite boxing talk. We're going to talk Andy Joshua versus Joe Parker and the unification of the heavyweights, man. That's coming up on the 31st. Uh, a Saturday It's going to be an interesting bout And then of course We're going to talk about Triple G And Canelo's fight Is in jeopardy So we're going to talk about that too But let's start it off With the Anthony Joshua And Joe Parker fight DC uh, Mike, Mike Tyson And Lennox Lewis Putting a blender And all put together that's Anthony a, Joshua That's a huge You know what That's, that's a, who he is I'm going to tell you That's that's a pretty big statement You made right that's there That's who he is Elaborate on that What made you say that I mean, he has the body build, the frame, the reach, and everything of a Lennox Lewis with the knockout power, crazy hooks, and uppercuts in both hands, just like Mike Tyson. Power man. in both hands, punch at different scary, angles. Scary, scary fighter, man. Smart. Uh, Lennox Lewis. Yeah. Like, you yeah, know? It's, it's weird, man. This is a and dangerous And he's from fighter. Britain, just like Lennox Lewis. Right, you know? so right. Very, very dangerous very, I'm fighter. Sure, I'm sure those, those were two of his favorite fighters, if you ask him. Very dangerous fighter, uh, this guy is. 20 and 0. 20 and 0. 20 knockouts. And it's going to be an excellent fight here coming up. And it's a lot of talk, jibber-jabber going back yeah. and forth between Parker and Joshua. Of course, Parker saying that Joshua has a glass chin. What? And that he's going to knock him out. And, of course, uh, Anthony Joshua saying, mate, I'm, I refuse to lose. Mate, I'm only thing I'm afraid of is, is losing. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and he, that's pretty you much what You know what? We was watching the press conference, and I remember you uh... – you told me you saw something in Andy Joshua. I seen I seen in the eyes, man. You told me. I seen a little fear in the eyes. You made me man. look at it, and I was like, "Damn, you know what? You're you right. see I it see too. it too. Yeah, you yeah. Know? You can t- you can see in his eyes. You know, he's. What, 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 what do you mean by that, man? What, what exactly did you see? Well, I'm not saying that he afraid. I'm not saying that he afraid. I'm not of of Joe Parker by no stretch of imagination. When asked, you know, who was his toughest fight, he always leans on the Klitschko fight. Because it took a lot to beat Klitschko. The rest of those guys, like Takam and all these other dudes, Dylan White, he wiped the flow with those guys. Right. You know, he knocked those guys out with no issue, no problem. But when you come to a, a, a fighter like uh, Klitschko, which he's looking at the Klitschko win, it took a lot for him to beat Klitschko. He had to dig deep because Klitschko put his ass on the mat and he had to get up for the first time to beat that man. Now, when we talk about Fear. When I looked at his eyes in these various interviews, I seen a, I seen fear in his eyes. But they're not saying that he's afraid of, of Parker. But like Par- like jo- Joshua says, he's afraid to lose. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, wow, I, I've never not heard any fighter who was undefeated ever say that. Not to my recollection, I've not heard that. I've if y'all, if you guys have heard I've that, heard I'll comment on that. Always talk about comment that. on that. Please let me know. To Boxing my recollection, to I've never heard all the good fighters have a little small amount of fear. I've always heard boxing trying to say that because the guys. But have who, you heard the fighters say it? No, okay. the guys who are kind of don't have any me. fear. Are like you know the Mexican brawlers just get knocked upside the head all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got no fear of getting hit. So like true. why not? You right, know. Right. So I mean, a, a little bit of fear is good. And I mean, you want to be honest. Uh, if you don't have a little bit of fear, how can you have courage? Well, I'm not saying fear is bad by any stretch of imagination, but we know that this is going to be a difficult fight no matter how you slice it. Andy Joshua, 20 and 0, 20 knockouts. Very, very tough fight. He's coming into Joe Parker. Joe Parker's a guy that's 24 and 0 with 18 knockouts. He ain't got no fear, huh, Q? Who, Joe Parker? Yeah. I looked in Joe Parker's eyes on multiple interviews, and Joe Parker isn't scared of nothing. Joe Parker, and you look in his he eyes, get knocked and upside he's, the head and like he's the ready. Fighters. But that's true. That's true. And I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot when we we covered this Wilder thing, and we had comments, people talking about Wilder. Wilder, Wilder get, another one. He ain't got man, no fear. Listen, we when we covered Luis Ortiz was getting him everything. Rem, he had him remember too. when we covered the Wilder <laughs> fight? We did the previews for Wilder 
Yeah. And you had all of the people commenting saying that, man, the Wilder are going to get knocked out and all this kind of stuff. Remember that? Yeah. And I calmly told a lot of our commenters and all the people that was, you know, that was, we thank y'all for commenting with us, that they will, you know, that this is going to be a fight. That you're severely underestimating Dante Wilder. Well, well I'm not saying right that Anthony Joshua. No seen it. Right, but, <laughs> right. So, you know, Anthony Joshua and Joseph Parker, of course, Joseph Parker's never fought anybody even similar uh, uh, stature, and I'm not talking about size. I'm talking about skills to what Anthony Joshua is going to bring. Joseph Parker's never seen that guy. Now it's you know it's tough because when you ask AJ, AJ says oh, Klitschko's the toughest fight, and I think that he's going to knock Parker out. And I say, like I said before, when I called, I said I said it's going to be a knockout by Dante Deontay Wilder late in the uh, in the later rounds. Yeah. I called that. So, and I'm saying the same thing here, but I might say between the eighth and the tenth round that Parker is going to be floored. He's going to get knocked out by Anthony Joshua. Now, of course, we're going to get our commenters, and we love y'all, man. Go ahead and comment to your heart content. Just keep it respectable. But, DC, what you think about that? I definitely think uh, it's going to be a knockout. This fight is not going to end on the decision. I think it's a, a race between uh, – the Luis Ortiz fight and the Dante Wilder fight. Andy Joshua know what he has to do. He's going to try to go out there and one up Dante Wilder. I mean, that's your next opponent. Why not kill two birds with one stone? You can have a psychological mind game going on with that as well. I fought a better opponent than you, and I put him down quicker. So Andy Joshua is not going to headhunt because he's a very smart fighter. Yeah, but if no he doubt. sees an opportunity to put Parker down, lights out. But... We also can't sleep on this either. Klitschko did put Andy Joshua down. He did. Parker does recognize him for having a glass chin, and Parker ain't no ain't no slouch because we could He's we not. could very well see. But we said the same a reincarnation thing about Ortiz. of Dante Wilder. But we and Luis Ortiz. It could I'm, be just another great fight. I'm just telling you. And uh, AJ could hit the ground, bro. It, he could possible. hit the ground. And the, hey, any in, any great fighter will tell you that that at any given time, you any fighter can sleep. put you down on that mat. In, at any given time. But this is what I'm saying about Anthony Joshua. I think he'll beat Joseph Parker. Not saying that Joseph Parker's a bum, because I, I think Joseph Parker... I, I think Joseph is, Parker is a, fought a lot of bums. I think... <laughs> <laughs> So did AJ. I mean, some of them dudes. He was, so so did never, AJ. AJ. I ain't see AJ fighting no dudes with beer bellies and stuff, though, man. <laughs> Come on, let's be real. But uh, <laughs> talk about Angel Martinez. Oh, man, that dude look like he's about 85 years old, man. Listen, let me tell you something, bro. I think I could have put up Joe, a better fight Joe than Parker that. fought whoever he could fight. He fought the grand, the grand, the granddaddy from uh, New Zealand. He knocked his, I mean, from <laughs> Australia. Uh, Francois Bolta knocked him out. You know, that's one of his earlier fights. And he all fought, you can do is fight he fought Huey, Huey Fury. Fury. Right, but that's all, that's what I'm about to say. You can only knock out the people you put in front of you. And if they happen to be bums, hey, remember Mike Tyson did the same thing uh, back in the day. Oh, yeah, when he had the bum, of the, the, yeah, bum yeah. of the month club that he it's, had to knock out. Green. All he those guys. Knocked the, his head the bum of the month club. <laughs> you know, so it's just, it's just that's, that's just my perception. I think that Joseph yeah. Parker is, listen, man, I'm going to just tell you all like this. I think Joseph Parker is the third best heavyweight completely. I think he's better than Dylan White. I would love to see the Dylan White see, uh, fight in Joseph Parker. I, hell, before I see Dylan White, because I know he's mandatory, I would love to see Luis Ortiz and Joe I think Parker Luis go Ortiz at it. Is, is, That's is a, a really fight good fight, fight that I would love to see too. I think he's because better. Because I don't think Dylan White could beat, uh, could beat Luis Ortiz. I don't think I don't that think Dylan White could beat, could beat Joe Luis Parker. Ortiz. Well, I mean, that's a lot to say. That's I think Ortiz is actually the third best fighter, but... He got a lot. Of, he, you know, he got more losses than Parker. He don't have no belts, so you got to get Parker that. Well, he got one belt. loss. That was his first one against Deontay. That's a lot when you got somebody else who ain't got nothing <laughs> and they got a belt. You got other people that's <laughs> mandatory. Right. But anyway, DC, uh, you you call the call your pick on this one here for the for the third and final time. Uh, I'll say Andy Joshua and nine. Okay, good. That's right around my prediction too. I think by what knockout. Of course. Okay, good. That's what I think, too. I would agree. If y'all disagree, you know what you can do. Comment on it. Let us know what you think uh, is going to happen in the fight as well. Yeah.